And now to introduce, hang on, hang on. To introduce what's on your easel, we have boy two. Climb up on the stool. With the skelly jammies. Climb up on the boo stool. Jammies, boo jammies. Climb up on the stool. Okay. Come on. You gotta go bigger. He's Come on. too distracted. Get up there. Myself. Get up there. Go, go, go. Go, go, gadget, go. Go, gadget, go. Stand up. Sing the song. What on your easel? What on your easel? What on your easel? Do this. All right. Give it up for boy two in his skeleton jammies. Yeah. They glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. Look how big he is. Can you see him? All right. So we have <laughs> Skeleton Bob's PJs. The What's on Your Easel segment this week is going to be kind of big since we didn't have a show last week. We have everything that everybody did last week. So let me jump over to the email, which I should have already had pulled up. Okay, so the sexy red-headed Darcy did a face last week. And I like to show the step-by-steps. She did a face last week. So there's the sketch. There she started penciling in the eyes with the piercings. Penciling in the shading. Penciling in, penciling in, penciling in. Continuing with the shading, especially around the eyeballs. Penciling in, penciling in, penciling in. Penciling in. That looks like a self-portrait. That looks like a self-portrait. Is that a self-portrait, sexy redheaded Darcy? Let's see. Uh, this is Pixie, so it's not a self-portrait. What piece is first? No, because your piercing is in the middle, not on the side. Do we know Pixie? I don't know Pixie. Anyway, so the sexy red-headed Darcy's sketching faces, drawing, drawing faces. So that's a really good job. Really good. And then... Dun, dun, dun. Going back to the email, I'm going to stick with the sexy red-headed Darcy. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, here is this week's face. Go get your brain real quick. And it's Johnny Depp. No, it's not. It's not Johnny Depp. But you always get excited around Johnny Depp. <laughs> Do we know this person? Here's another face that the sexy redheaded Darcy has drawn. This is this week's face. This is Jax. I recently put out a call for people to send me photos of themselves so that I could practice more. Jax very kindly got her hubby to take some photos of her, which she emailed to me. I loved her one in her hat, so decided to go with that one. So this is Jax. So there's Jax. We lost the Ustreamer. Who did we lose? Random Ustreamer. Sorry to see you go, Random Ustreamer. Okay, so there's Jax. Ah, uh, you know. And then the sexy red-headed Darcy sends in gift box and a giveaway of markers. Do, do, do. This month for Letra Set, I have made a sweet gift box, perfect for the end of summer term gifts. Why don't you make some of these for your children's teachers? I started by scribbling with aqua markers onto non-porous surface and spritzing this with water. Uh, so she's making boxes, very pretty boxes. We're going to look at them. I want to know more about this giveaway. She has a she has a pack of summery aqua markers to give away: raspberry, tangerine, golden brown, spring green, Mediterranean, and mauve. So, uh, red, orange, brown, green, blue, and purple. Don't. <laughs> Don't do Don't do what to you. Red, green, yellow, blue, red, 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 purple, yellow, yellow. 
Put them together and what you have that quickly and ready to go. Okay, so here she starts with the markers. And she has her brayer out. And she's she's spreading the spreading the colors around. She's got her word stampers. She's stamping with, stamping words onto things. Making little flowers out of the word stamper thingies. Making little pretty little flowers out of the word stamper thingies. And birdies. And a box. See the box with the watercolor staining on it? Or the water medium stain stain on it. And a worded bird. And lace. And a flower. Look at that flower. Look how awesome that flower is. The lag is bad tonight. Huh? The lag is bad tonight. Are you hooked up to your line? You shouldn't have any lag at all. I do. Mm. So, and these are the colors that she's giving away. Raspberry, tangerine, golden brown, spring green, Mediterranean mauve. So don't forget to go to her website and register for the win. And then... Was that it from the Sexy Red-Headed Darcy? That was it for the Sexy Red-Headed Darcy. And then last week... Closes on Sunday. Say again, over. The giveaway closes Sunday. Okay. Giveaway closes on Sunday. My mom actually reads this stuff. I just kind of make it up as I go along. Yeah. I do. All right. And then Jay the Viking sent last week Valkyrie sketch for commission. Avert your eyes. Avert your eyes. It might be porn. We miss you, Athala. She was available last week. I know. And, and we didn't have a show last week. I know. So there's a Valkyrie sketch that Jay's working on. I'm going to zoom in on I'm going to zoom in on it just a little bit so that we can maybe see some of the details. <laughs> Look at that. Nice work, Jay. Nice work. The highlight on the leg. Look at that. Nice work. Love it, Jay. Ooh, cool. And then, let's see, that was last week. This week, Jay has sent us, again, avert your eyes, it might be porn. Weekly update. Ten-minute sketch on newspaper from a live model. This is why we hate Jay. This this is exactly why we hate Jay. My ten-minute sketches don't look anything like this. My my ten-minute sketches still look like scribbles. <laughs> look how pretty that is. I love you, Jay. I love you, Jay. <laughs> they're in that chat room talking about how I only say that I brought your eyes it might be porn for Jay's work I, I don't do it for Darcy because Darcy's a good girl I'm a good girl I am I am I'm a good girl <laughs> sorry flashback to uh, was, that, was that Audrey was that Audrey Hepburn but was it Audrey Hepburn and my fair lady it was a Hepburn huh it was Audrey Hepburn in My Fair Lady. Yeah, she was gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. stunning. Okay, and then I don't know what this is. It's a grocery sack of some sort. Uh, dancing. You know, let me scroll down here and find out what it is. Uh, okay, the color face was a 30-minute a la prima oil paint study. And this is origami. Uh, Waltz. This is Jay. All right, so that's what the sexy redhead of Jay sent no. this week. What? It is not what the sexy redhead. I'm sorry, sexy raven-haired Jay. I've got. Whoa! It's Ginger Thursday. I, I've got wow. I've got gingers on the brain. Did, did Jay change his hair color? Oh, he might have. Sexy raven-haired Jay. I just didn't want to leave him out, you know? So, Phoebes Athala sends us last week 
Sometimes just because is all the reason you need. A little Dalmatian puppy looking over a couple of Cocker Spaniel puppies. Or go, they might be golden retrievers. Like, look how cute that is. Sometimes just because is all the reason you need. In case it's too hard to read, okay, she read it for me. So that was. <laughs> say again, over. I'm going to try that. What'd you say? Jay changes his hair color very often. It's to avoid the IRS. Yeah. All you have to do is tell them your hard drive crashed. All right, let's see. And then here is an abstract art journal entry from Athala. I like that. That's pretty. Did she blow white paint around with a straw? Is that what that looks like? That's pretty. I wish she were here so she could tell us about it. Very nice. And then yesterday she sent me, literally on my easel this time, here's a painting, a painting I did this week. 22 inches by 30 inches acrylics on canvas board. So now she's painting. What did she call it? It's not titled yet. But it looks like somebody in a cave with light pouring in. Very nice, Bella. Very nice. 22 inches by 30 inches acrylic on canvas board. And then we have Penny's mom. Doing uh, watercolor bluebells. Are those bluebells? Those look like bluebells. Did this one Tuesday night, same inspiration, the Frugal Crafter. Oh, a seaside. Seaside palm tree on a beach at, on the seaside with birds. Watercolors. We do watercolor Wednesdays around here. She said she'd done some watercolors along with us. And so she posted them. I don't know what a loop. Oh, lupines, not bluebells. The, the flowers were... We're lupine. Lupines or lupines? We're in Oklahoma. That's lupines. Yeah, that's right. You just stuff. Penny says, Penny's mom says, we, we don't have them in Oklahoma. Penny's mom says, I don't think we have those in Oklahoma. We have flowers that are similar to that shape, to that overall shape, but maybe not necessarily that flower. They're wild flowers. We have those little bluebells. Yeah. Because I've, I've painted those before. Okay, so that is what everyone has sent to me. And then I would like to show you uh, what my lovely bride has on her easel. Because I love you. Bring it. Hurry, come on. Time, time's ticking. I am. You don't. You don't have to show. You don't have to show the whole thing. You can just set the book out and say. Ow. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> um. I don't. I'm sorry. He caught me off guard. I apologize. We um. Surprise! 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 We. I went to the journal fodder junkies uh, workshop, and they um. They kind of go through some of their techniques in their book. They have two published books right now, and this is the second time that they've done this retreat. And they walk you through how to approach a blank page. You know, there is no wrong. The way that Blade does his journals is um, usually just all in pictures telling one specific story, and these two gentlemen use theirs as like almost a visual diary or journal, as you would normally think of one. So. They have notes from faculty meetings, they have letters from people, they have their thoughts for the day, and there's always some kind of art going on. And so they really incorporate the doodle 
and that free um, creative thinking into everything that they do and they also put stickers all over everything so I had funny stories um, we went to the National Gallery of Art in DC on our way to Dulles Virginia and a friend of ours met us there <clears throat> and he's like I don't know much about this art stuff which always cracks me up when people say that so can you tell me okay how did they do this they just like stuck it on there right and I'm like no no in order to do like a cast you had to do this and I could answer all his questions and he started calling me Siri so if you have an iPhone <laughs> Siri's that thing that tells you everything you need to know on your phone and he started calling me Siri the whole time and it just made me laugh so my sticker on my journal actually says hello my name is Siri and I then there's um, no because it wasn't like that and don't listen to him but <laughs> they, uh, they uh, gave us stickers some of the guys um, that were there we had a whole coffee cult but in our book um, they walked us through there's a creed that they put in the beginning of their book mine's different but they put a creed in the beginning of their book saying that they um, promise from that day forward to never be caught in their waking hours without their journal and that they um, will strive to work in it every day and they will work on a book until it's finished it's not a page a day sometimes a page takes them a month sometimes it takes them a couple of hours and they have everything in there so it is almost like a documented art of their daily lives they even I don't even know what camera is showing but um, they showed us how to how they actually add a calendar can you see the book at all okay on I'm on a split screen good to know there we go two pictures you don't have to be anymore. um no no it's good but they showed us how to uh, put a calendar in the back of their book and then um, they mark off every day and then they decorate them so as they finish a day they mark it off with these X's and either at that time they'll go back and color them in they turn this into a work of art also but everything that's going on in your life is right here this also forces you to carry your journal with you and make it a part of you now this is a huge journal I have a smaller one that will fit in my pocket or that will fit um, in a small backpack because I really don't carry a purse so I wanted it to be something that I could carry with me am I talking too much okay Okay. You don't have to. So we did this. This is my, um, my calendar, and I've already started coloring in, so I've worked in my journal since I've returned home. And then um, nothing. Yeah, it's true. Um, they showed us how to do a pocket, and it was just kind of neat. They gave us a lot of writing prompts to make us relax. We did some of our first writings on um, these watercolor sheets of paper, which I've taped down and it was stream of consciousness writing so it um it was just random thoughts that all had a center topic and then we cut it up they showed us how they've done it on tissue paper so that it will wrap how things that they've added in will flap to a different page this one i got fed up with and stopped on um it showed us how they did their different flaps so it's two pages where you've ripped and then it all comes together so basically you take three pages and then you take parts of those tears and flap them in and then I added one over here because I made a mistake um, so I just made it work for me so why are you peeking one. why are you peeking see and then I wrote sideways so that I could um, do something different I put in the ticket stub we went to see a couple of bands that we loved we got in really cheap it was like $20 a person as opposed to the 45 to 60 that we were paying then 80 and so we were able to see them and that was really neat and then there's all these different flaps it is it's just a different way to approach it um the string technique that i used to like to do as a kid so that it creates these where i like that open area and i think the beauty of the color shows through i actually journaled along each line which i can show my kids so that they can do that um they have a book um called um, journal 365 so that you can take it a day at a time or a week at a time or however you choose to do it and it has topics and then it'll have like questions to kind of prompt your writing if you're stuck on different topics and then they show you a few art art techniques in that second book their first book is a lot a lot like a lot of the other journaling books but they 
there's no right or wrong with them where a lot of the other books that you would get they were they would say things like you had to number all your pages or you had to fill the page with this or you had to do this and he's like there's no right or wrong you know this is just our way of approaching it and it's a really relaxed way so it was kind of nice to be around them and actually being around all those people made it easier to produce more this is marbled paper we talked about how to do cutouts so that when it folds it brings that color into the next one. We also did it here. Um, I have a couple of different flaps. So it's a couple of pages. So that depending on how you let that flap lay um, changes the, uh, the work. This is one of those random ones where I was putting things. This is another one. And so now for the record, as your, I, have, I have tried art journaling like <coughs> this and I don't like nice it. Thing. But the, I love this. I, I like the way it looks. I love watching other people's art journals like this. I love seeing what other people do for this, but for me, it's too much work. Oh. Because there's too much of, I gotta keep track of stuff. I've gotta paste stuff in. I've gotta put, I gotta, I gotta track my life. When I would rather just have a brief illustration. But, and, and that but they I would love say, looking at these. I love, I love looking at these. And they would say that that's, that's good. If that's the way you do it, then do it that way. Um, it was just, they're really, they're re no, I know. There really were no rules with them. So there were people that had their whole page filled with these drawings and everything because they were just working it out. And they maybe cranked out two pages those four days that we were there. Where my friend, who is the exact opposite when it comes to her artwork from me, mine is very controlled and precise. And I like, I like there to be some kind of unity. Her stuff is wild and all over the place. And it was nothing for her to leave the room with more paint on her than anywhere else and I'm like okay I can't handle that but I do paint like that and it's usually when I'm really relaxed which is really funny because our personalities are the opposite in real life in real life she's very precise everything's nice and neat everything's where it needs to be in her art she's completely the opposite and I'm a mess everywhere else but when it comes to my art it's very it, it has to be just right or it's not done so it's pretty what? Just got to do it like this. I, yeah. She's got to do it like this. I do. Um, <clears throat> but then, then we started stuff. doing silly, silly things with stencils, and it's kind of hard to tell, but we actually painted with letter stencils and let it bleed. I just have a whole bunch. And then I journaled in places, and then where we would do those crazy cutouts again. This was stream of consciousness writing, and then highlighting words that would... Um, we'll see. <laughs> where, um, highlight the words that video. stuck out, and then... God. And then um, things, we would cut them out so that they could also play in the page behind it. This is my favorite. Come to the art side. We have coffee and beer. Um, so it's just random things like that. And I was prepping a page uh, yesterday with more watercolor. You're what? Oh God, they're talking about me now. And I was prepping another page just so that I would have pages to work on because I worry about the background, which is kind of crazy. Um, sorry, it takes me a while to catch up on all the reading. <clears throat> I think they are kind of aimed at beginners with their with their stuff, where knowing any of the techniques, like how to use bubble wrap, is uh, something totally new to most people, where I love to do that on anything with a flat surface. I love to paint with bubble wrap or use the string or fade things, cut things out. I, just, I never would have thought to cut my journal. And they, they have cutouts and things where it fades through to like six, seven, 12 pages deep. So it was just kind of neat to get around other people. And this is all we did from technically seven, eight o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night. But they were like, ah, just come in when you're ready. And we'd stroll in with our coffee and our breakfast and then have beverages, go to dinner, come back. It was just really nice and relaxing. And they would always show you a new technique or have a new writing prompt so if you can you may want to do it if not just carry on with what you got so that was it sorry thank you bye <laughs> thank, you. thank you bye now he's going to show you the babies work not the babies okay so this is what they did tonight this is boys tears painting tonight i don't know what it is but he had fun doing it and it he spent a solid five to 10 minutes on this. That's pretty amazing. I know, him. right? And then the little girl is, look at, her, look at her color blending. Look at what she's doing with color blending. She's experimenting with how the colors run into each other. 
She's using the she's using the inks, the colored inks, the acrylic inks, and she's she's just making a mark and then touching the color while it's still wet, touching a different color to the end to see how it will blend for her. I love that she's experimenting with that. And then the other night during Watercolor Wednesday, she showed you the page that she did during our Watercolor Wednesday. This is this is a series of paintings that were done during Watercolor Wednesday. Uh, oh wait, this is from our zoo trip when we all sat around playing with playing with watercolors from our zoo trip. And then there's uh, unique with Chantel La Fontaine. His babies make. Uh, the video is more interesting. And then here's more Watercolor Wednesday. Watercolor Wednesday from last week. And you can see I've got a couple of iterations of sharks that I've been playing with trying to do. And then Watercolor Wednesday from last night. And, and of course, she's a ginger, right? So that has been what was on our easel. That is what was on bathroom door still open. That is what was on your easel. Nobody wants to see inside the bathroom. That is what was on your easel. That was what was on our easel. If you would like to be a part of what's on your easel, simply send an email to blade at artisticbiker.com with the subject line easel, and we will use your work to share with other people so that uh, we can, we, we can ins use your work to inspire other people to try something. Uh, the, whole, the whole point of all of this is to get people out creating and doing something. Uh, so that said, this is not quite dry, so we're going to dry it just a little bit more, and we'll take a little break, and we'll be right back.